Let's see what we got. Today I ate one taco. Mexico! Love Mexico. I used to live near Mexico. I think it was near Mexico. Closer to Mexico than I am now. Sorry, I got I got into a my own thoughts there for a moment. That's all right. White rabbit in a blizzard. Yes, we call this Michigan winter. A touch. And if I can still see my fingerprint, that means I've got just the right amount. But, I can't see my fingerprint, so I've got too much. You don't want too much on there, or else your, your paint goes slipping in a slide. Alright, let's see what we got now. Wipe my hand clean. Touch, 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 touch. Much better. Much, much better. So, we're doing a sunset, am I right? I look like an ISIS fighter? Dude, this is... This is full-on apocalypse beard. I've never grown a beard before. I was about to shave it off and then the quarantine hit. I'm like, nope! I'm going full Santa. But Santa didn't have all this, uh, all, all the black still. Actually, kind of nice. I'm kind of glad that it's not pure white. That'd make me look older. So I could probably put down most of the two-inch brushes. This is a pretty tiny canvas, but we can always use them to, to blend. So we're gonna do a sunset. Am I right? Is that halfway straight? It doesn't look. quite look right. Straight enough. All right. I'm going to have to kind of go off here. Want a little bit of Indian yellow. Very small amount. Little crisscrosses. We're gonna make. We'll go ahead and make this one brighter. Now, because I put that liquid white on there, it makes it a lot easier to blend color. Ooh, that is that's brilliant. The more I go back and forth over it, the more it mixes with the liquid white and gets softer and softer. There we go. Without even mix, without even cleaning the brush, I'm gonna come into a little bit of alizarin crimson. Hit it. Little crisscrosses. Without cleaning the brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of the Prussian blue. Little goes a long way, that's for sure. All right, good enough. Am I doing a uh, Am I doing water? I 
I wasn't sure if I was putting a, a lake or something in here or not. I'll tell you what, let's let's try. After I just cleaned the old brush too. And then a little bit of that lavender. I did it this time, right? All right. You guys got some some suggestions, that's for sure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this out now, bringing that red into the yellow, making it softer and softer. Once I have that mellowed out a little bit, I work my way out, and now I can blend all that lavender and blue into the crimson. Just trying to stay away from the yellow for now. And here, just bringing this all in. Well, I think I need a little bit more blue. Clean my brush once again. <laughs> I gotta see here. We've got a <laughs> once I start seeing suggestions like <laughs> like that, whose wife is in a cooler. That caught me. So grammatically awesome and then so disturbing of a subject just made me <laughs> oh man good lord in a cooler this isn't breaking bad all right well we got to decide here am i doing clouds am i putting some crazy clouds in here or not Just had to clean my fan brush here in case uh, we want some clouds. Clouds it is, and we're gonna go fancy clouds too, because you guys are awesome. A little bit of blue, a little bit of crimson, and I'm gonna use a little bit of phthalo blue here. Want to try to create a nice purple, nice purple. Oh, and let's see. Doing something a little bit different. I haven't done in a while. Just because you guys are awesome. Cloudy, cloudy clouds. Stormy clouds, I should say. <laughs> you guys got me all kafoozled.
And I'm going to need more white. Titanium white. No birds. A killer dolphin. Not just regular dolphins, he says. Killer dolphins. All right, well, that sounds more like a commission than a, uh, a live painting, because that would take oh, more time than I have here. How's that for a save? So, with these clouds, every time I do clouds, we're always taking the cloud and blending it downward. Blending it down. The white clouds. But for to... <laughs> I can't even talk. But for to uh, make this stormy look happen at the base of the cloud, we're actually blending the cloud up. I'm just stirring it and making it softer, but leaving the nice clean edge at the bottom. That's what's going to give it the stormy look. Stir in this cloud. Upwards. My god, I haven't done this in forever. So, now I can take my white, and now we can add white toppers on here. Making little tiny circles sort of pushing that paint into the weave of the fabric there, the weave of the canvas. Don't have to get too crazy with it, just get some in there, get some in there above the, above the purple. Bang it in there. Then, 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 let's clean the brush yet one more time. An ethnically accurate Jesus. Super dry. All right, using the top corner of the brush. Uh, literally, I'm using like like 20 bristles right here. That's all I'm using. The very tips. Just the very tips, I stir down the bottom of the white into the purple. Not holding my breath, but I'm definitely breathing shallow. Leave the dark chunkiness up there, the bright, <laughs> the dark the dark chunkiness of the white. What an idiot. Leave the white. Don't blend it all away. Leave the darkness of the white. What a maroon. All right. Still, if it looks just like white and purple, keep blending it till you get a nice little transition. Little baby circles. Then, I like to come back and strengthen it. Add kind of like a, a little bit more of a 3D effect by throwing a little bit more white into these blended areas. You got that right. Hey, and I, plus, I work really hard to straighten this thing, or else it would be an afro. Blend those little bits down if you can. Really, I'm using just a couple of hairs here. Just a couple of hairs, and that white blends in so easily and creates all these variations of colors. There we go. Not my best, not my worst. Kind of looking around me. I've done better, I've done worse. So, we got to decide what the heck are we doing? I'm going to turn off one of these lights. Maybe that'll, oh! Maybe that'll help uh, look a little better.
still pretty bright. Let me try this one. Two hairs and some hairs. Yeah, that looks a little better. A little harder for me. So what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a mountain? Um, or should I just hop right into the foreground? Well, thanks, Sir Osney. A mountain in a sailboat. Am I? I didn't think. I thought I was doing like some water. I didn't think I was doing like a whole ocean seascape thing. You guys didn't. You didn't. You didn't tell me that. A whale, an island, ground. I tell you what. It's. I. I want to do a mountain. So I'm going to do a mountain. <laughs> Ooh, I think I'll save this. This is this purple I had? Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of crimson, a little bit of Prussian blue, a little bit of brown, a little bit of black. And what does that make? Dark. Now I could do the full-on Bob Mountain with the bright snow and everything, or I could just kind of do some far away mountains. Do you guys have a preference? I already got I already got the ducks, buddy. You win. Jake Jake Law said the magic word. This is a painting I did uh, I wasn't super happy with. So I gave it to my daughter and she put in a hundred ducks and a UFO and a giant duck at the top of the mountain. So there you go, Jake. You did it. You were, I show this painting almost every time because almost everyone says ducks. That is right. Uh, it's a far away, far, dragon, far away. Okay. I'm still working on, on volcano. I did a volcano before. Maybe when we get closer to uh, Halloween, I'll do the volcano, the Bob Ross hellscape. I did that several years ago for uh, a contest here on the Happy Trees subreddit. And I, I was looking at it the other day and I'm like, eh, you know, that wasn't that bad. I think I could do better. Little bit of blue. And a little bit of this purple I created. Let's just go ahead and... Something, something right there. take my one inch brush and I'm just blending this downwards I think it needs a little bit more color. You can throw a little bit more color here. Maybe a little something right there. Come back with your one inch brush and blend it down. And it creates all these little high spots and light areas and shadows. Just watch your yellows. All right, I'm going to come into a little bit of purple and a little bit of crimson. It should still be uh, fairly purple here.
just how you want. Maybe I'll just add a little peek right there with my own knife. Sometimes I make it a little bit too triangular. So I just sort of round it over. Sometimes there you go for the craggy look, other times not. So here we go. Starting to see a little bit more detail. Once again, just watching the top, but I don't accidentally go outside the line. And then cleaning the brush off, basically, to fill this in with a very light, misty look. See that? So what I didn't paint becomes part of the painting. Ooh, that's like philosophy. What I didn't paint becomes part of the painting. Ooh, heavy ogre. Thanks, ma'am. Or ma'am. Card girl, okay, probably, probably ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. Made a little happy accident there, so all of a sudden, boom. So yes, I should uh, I should say once again, I am a certified Bob Ross instructor. I've taken the uh, certification course down at the Bob Ross Workshop and Gallery in Florida. And uh, what that means is I go out and I teach under the Bob Ross name, teach people how to paint just like this, even if you've never picked up the brush. So, I'm thinking we need some highlights on here, don't you guys? Should they be strong highlights or just still kind of faded, faded away? Wouldn't the shadow be facing us? Well, you know, we got the bright spot here. Uh, I'm sort of doing this where the where the highlight, the light is still mainly coming from the right. There might be a little over here. You're right. The highlight is mainly on the right. New Smyrna Beach, Florida. New Smyrna Beach, Florida. All right. Pale highlights. I get it. I get it. We can do those with the fan brush. New Smyrna Beach, Florida is just south of Daytona Beach. Let's go ahead and just very, very gently blend some of those tap marks away. This mountain's got some highlights to it, but they're, they're pretty dark still. Pretty dark. And you know what? Maybe we'll have a little bit of shadow in there too. Not much. little bit of the Prussian blue and that purple. Maybe, maybe. Now I feel like I'm doing a little bit more traditional style painting here. Not my forte. Just putting that in there. And then we can soften it back a little bit. Just a, a bare hint of some shadow. There 
think I went outside the lines again. I tell you what, let's get a couple little little bright spots that are catching catching the sun, right? Just right. Catch a little sun, get a little highlight, they're gonna need a tiny bit more shadow too. Alright, so this is oil paint, so you got that right. Oh, we lost everyone. Everyone, uh, we had a few 4,000 people, but now it's down to 500. Only the cool ones. So, are we done with mountains or should I make a, a much bigger, closer one with full on highlights? Yep, stretched canvas. This is 12 by 16. And uh, doing uh, Bob Ross oil paints. Well, thanks there, FLC, Big Joe. Oh, it's definitely full on Bob. For better or for worse, I'm doing uh, Bobby. One Bobby. Oh, I don't like that cloud. Normally I don't do that, but ooh, that just struck me wrong. There we go. Alright, so am I doing a full-on mountain? Only 12 minutes, oh no! I guess no mountain. So, I guess we're doing some foreground. But you weren't expecting that. Just punching in some reflections now. 12 minutes. Don't tell me I'm not going to start another stream. Uh-uh. I'm just going to turn this into reflections now. Just by pulling straight down. There we go. And then very gently go across. How's that? <laughs> yep, that pushed that mountain right back. A little too misty right there. Maybe I should cover that bit up. But that's the whole idea is you always overlap what came before there and that pushes everything back. <laughs> oh, WWE Diva posters. Man after my own heart there. Alright, so, small brush, liquid white, we haven't even determined, I'll tell you what, I think this might be a winter painting, what do you think? Uh, I, of course, I ask you, what do you think as I'm typing, or uh, tapping into all this bright, bright, white, 
Should we make it a snowy painting, or do you guys want uh, summer summer colors? Yeah, Nakia, not my best clouds, but you know, things happen. Snow, okay, if we're doing snow, let's go ahead and drop in a little bit of snow. Maybe make it a little bit brighter right there. Just liquid white and a little bit of titanium white. Liquid white is a little too thin and titanium white is too thick. But together makes just the right color. These are going to be nice and bright here. And I tell you what, let me grab the tiniest amount of phalo blue. As I come down here, I'm just going to touch a little bit of this phalo blue down here near the bottom. The ones at the top should be nice and bright. So let me go back here and just miss one there. As I come down, get a little bit of that phalo blue. And I tell you what, just for grins, we can put a little bit of the highlight color into the water. Use our brush, very gently pull some of that down, very gently. Okay. Say there's a little bit, a little bit of snow before we reach the water. Very small amount, so let me drag a little bit of snow. Right on across. I say it's a little bit snowier, a little hill or something right here. So we just slather on a little bit more, pull it down a little bit. Now I didn't get to make a snow break mountain, so I get to play around here. Same concept here, just pulling that, letting the little breaks and holes form. And we'll take a little bit of the thin stuff here. Trying to keep the brush nice, I'm sorry, the knife nice and horizontal. As I saw my way across here, creating a little water line or a little separator between the, the land and the, and the water. Maybe a couple little places where the trout jumped. Alright, how much time do I have? Five minutes? Five minutes? Told you I could do it. Or did I? I don't know. I think I did. A little bit of blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of crimson. Make a lovely, lovely purple. Let's go ahead and make a couple little bushies right here. I got five minutes left. We can do something. Just sort of fill that in. Oh, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of phalo blue. We've got five minutes. Can't get away without doing one more evergreen. A 
going through the white is a little tough. You got to kind of load that paint full there, cover up the white. There we go. Take our knife, touch of the brown. Add a little topper to it, a little semblance of a trunk. A little bit of this lighter brown, maybe we can give it a little bit of a highlight on that trunk. Then I take my liquid white, titanium white, maybe a little bit more liquid white, titanium white, a little bit of phthalo blue, oh hello, a lot of bit. Come back in here. If it doesn't come off, you need a little bit more paint or thinner paint. Getting fancy here. I'm going to put a, that was basically a shadowy highlight on there. This I don't do too often, but uh, let's try this here. A little bit of the liquid white. Keep, keep this nice and bright. A little bit brighter. And I think I made a happy accident here. I got paint underneath my easel, which I got onto my finger. So let me clean that up. I still got plenty of time. Two minutes, plenty of time, plenty of time. All right. And I should have cleaned the fan brush myself. How, how are we doing here? I got paint on my everythings. <laughs> One more evergreen with the best part. Now, my favorite part's coming up. When I did my certification, we did some winter scenes here. and This uh, this part here was the best. It was the first time I really got it to work correctly. And I tell you, it's just the best feeling when, uh, when you do this and it just works. So I dip my brush straight down into the liquid white. And we're going to load the bejesus out of this with titanium liquid white mix. Lots and lots and lots of paint. Okay, come over here and just touch and rotate as you touch with a very incredible light touch. That creates all these hundreds and hundreds of leaves. Here we go, a nice big one right down here. Work in layers. Work the back ones first. Maybe a little bit of blue in this one. Eh, not too much blue. And you can create all these little leaf effects just like that. Take the knife. Scratch through the paint. We can create all these little sticks and twigs. We can even do it back here and it may look like trunks. Here and there. And just like that, we've got our painting with four minutes to spare. How did that happen? Oh, someone just added some time. <laughs> what the heck? Oh no! Yes, I am a certified instructor, as I said before. It's a certification course you take at the Bob Ross Art Workshop and Gallery in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Three weeks. One painting, uh, one painting a day for the first five days. Two paintings a day for the second ten days. And you're just painting all day. Nine to five. For, for three weeks. You become a certified instructor. You start holding classes. You get to teach people how to paint. You get to practice painting. And you make a happy buck or two. So if I've got four minutes now, we might as well throw something right there just for you super awesomes, peoples. 
Look at this. We'll put a little bush there. Let's go ahead and do it again. Dirt, 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 dirt. Throw a little bit of blue in there. Dirt, 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 dirt. There we go. Got to do some more. Two minutes and 39 seconds. Oh my god. I'm, I'm giving value for your uh, coinage. Value for your coinage. Let's go ahead and put a baby pine right here. Maybe a little evergreen. There you go. Was that uh, was that value for money there? Tree over the duck. Alternately, you can use the time to dance a little. Are you kidding me? I always like to accommodate my uh, my viewers' uh, requests whenever possible. That one is not possible. To tell you right now. Sorry to say, I'm going to come in here with my dark color. I know I'm starting to fade away. Got to put a bird. Please check out my Instagram, my friends. I'll post this picture up here in, a, in an hour or so. And uh, after I get all this cleanup done. At, I'm Ted Sim. Two birds. One's chasing the other. Will he escape? Don't know. My YouTube channel, Nature's Brush Studio. My website, naturesbrushstudio.com. My... Facebook, Nature's Brush Studio. Do you, do you sense the pattern? <laughs> I'd tell you my Etsy channel, but there's only two paintings up there because my daughter apparently doesn't want to make money. I told her I'd give her, give her money for any painting that sold on Etsy. It's only up there. Try to guess what my Etsy handle is. Nature's Brush Studio. Thanks, guys.